Hey, this is Nate with Pro Services at Firewalls.com, and I'm going to show you how to set up the internal wireless on your firewall. And at first, we want to make sure that we have internal wireless capabilities. Uh, you can find that at the end of your model, the TZ270W, W standing for wireless. Navigate to Device, find internal wireless on the left panel. Choose Virtual Access Point. You can see that there is a default group called Internal Access Point Group, and this contains the different profiles that you set up for the different SSIDs you want to use. So one is already in this group. We can edit it, and we can see that you can edit the name and the SSID and enable the Virtual Access Point. Additional networks on Internal Wireless are created as VLANs. In order to do this, you would have to pre-configure a VLAN and assign it to the W0 interface and then select that ID here. We are doing a basic configuration. Advanced is going to allow us to create the profile, the authentication type, the cipher, and the maximum clients allowed on the access point. We can also enable virtual access point wireless distribution system to allow the firewall to act as a repeater. So I have already created a profile called Corporate WLAN and applied that. We're using WPA2 pre-shared key because not all clients are up to WPA3 standards yet. And you may not be using an enterprise network, in which case you would use WPA extensible authentication protocol to use Radius server for authentication. We'll leave it as is. We'll use AES for encryption and I've bumped up the client number to 128. We'll accept, we can change the name of this to whatever we want and accept. And what this did was create a virtual access point with an SSID of corporate WLAN, give us authentication protocol of WPA2, AES, and 128 clients. Um, you can suppress the beaconing right here for extra security. You can see the profile was created. So for this group, if we created another profile, say we wanted to do a guest WLAN, um, we would add it to this group here. As you can see, we've added this profile and accepted. The status tab allows us to see an overview and we can see that the WLAN is enabled and active. You can see here in the settings that I've enabled WLAN radio. The radio role is as an access point only. Again, you can configure it to be a repeater as well. It's always on. The radio mode is mixed. And band, the channel, is auto. Again, we can see that all my configurations here in the overview. Radio mode, cipher suite, networking, and we can also see statistics. You can also look at intrusion detection, look for access points or stations that may be nearby or acting as rogue access points. Remember to create a DHCP server and scope, create a firewall rule to give your wireless network access to the internet. And finally, like, subscribe, and check out firewalls.com.